All right, everybody, the smoking Android here. Um, I know I've said I was going to do this in the past sooner, but um, the guy that I was the author of the guy that I was waiting to uh, um, the, to use in order to do all this stuff, unlocking and, and what have you. Oh, let me turn on a light here for you guys, so you can see. There we go. That's a little better. Um, <clears throat> he's been uh, he's been taking a little while, uh, a little bit longer than I thought. Um, so I decided to go ahead and make my own guide and help everybody out. Um, in a nice and easy fashion on how to unlock the bootloader for your locked bootloader Motorola Atrix. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do some other stuff so we can get everybody upgraded to Gingerbread 2.3.4 and you can flash ROMs and uh, kernels and, and everything like that. So anyways, uh, let's get started. Um, there is going to be some prerequisites for um, getting this done. Um, I will, uh, those being um, downloading a bunch of software, uh, really quick files, um, and I'll have a link for them in the description box. Um, so you're going to have to make sure that you download all the software in the description box before you perform this. Okay, so um, if you do have everything, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And and uh, I mean that is to say, if you know, pause the video now, go down there, click on all the links, download all the software you need, so that we can go ahead and, and continue this video. Um, so now, if you've downloaded all the files, uh, prerequisite files needed, um, I'm just gonna shoot out a couple of pre warnings for you guys. Okay, um, <clears throat> first things first. Um, your phone needs to be updated to the latest firmware version. So that means if you have a Bell phone and you haven't done the little tiny update, uh, or, or even an international phone, um, make sure that your phone is up to date with all the latest firmwares. Uh, same thing as AT&T, AT&T users. Um, you must update your Atrix to version 1.83 before performing this. If you do not update your phone to version 1.83, you will hard brick your phone. Your phone will be effed. It will be a five, six hundred dollar paperweight, and there is no going back. Um, so, with that said, there's another one. Uh, let's see. I wrote all this down here. Um, oh, if you just bought your Atrix right out of the box, don't assume that it's already up to date. 99% um, of the phones, I believe, are not up to date. So, if you do just, if you have just bought the Atrix, um, take it out of the box. Go to. I'll do it on my phone here. Uh, you'll be going to uh, settings and was it wireless networks? No. Nope. Uh, oh, probably down to about phone, and then system update, and you're going to perform an update on your phone. Um, once you have unlocked your phone, do not perform an over-the-air update. Do not do that again, okay? Do not unlock your phone and then try to get 2.3.4 under your phone. You will F your phone. You will hard brick it. There's been many, many hard bricks from people trying to be smart asses and they unlock their bootloader and they're like, oh, I'll do an over-the-air update to get the official uh, gingerbread. No, don't do that, okay? You're, you're going to screw your phone up and I don't want to hear about it later on. Uh, what else? Um, do do do. Uh, oh, you're going to need to update your Motorola drivers, so there's going to be a link in the description for 64-bit uh, Windows and 32-bit Windows. This is all going to be for, I think, like Windows 7 computers. Um, XP, don't call, don't, don't send me messages. Vista, don't send me messages. I have Windows 7. Everybody else should have Windows 7. This is for Windows 7. So um, you're going to want to download the Motorola drivers for your computer. Um, and I'll have a link in the description below. You're going to want to run that. Um, also, um, you're, and then, and then other than that, you know, you're going to be downloading a new version of RSD Lite. So if you do have RSD Lite right now, uninstall it from your computer and install the new version that I'm going to post a link to below. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, after you've downloaded the uh, and installed the Windows drivers, do a reboot right away. Okay, right away. Um, and then once that's opened up and, and everything, you know, the, I would probably do the Windows drivers first, then reboot my computer, um, uninstall R R RSD Lite, um, then reinstall the new one, and then um, probably open it up, and um, it's going to take a little bit for uh, RSD Lite to configure and all this other jazzy stuff. Um, sometimes I like to uh, plug my phone in to RSD Lite before doing anything, or back when I was using RSD Lite, um, in order to, uh, in order to um, um, you know, get all the drivers updated and ready to go and everything like that. So like I said, reboot uh, your PC after you've installed the Windows drivers. 
Um, what else? Um, you're going to want to download the uh, the pudding. This is the uh, file that um, that the devs have dubbed pudding that's going to actually unlock the bootloader. It's the unlock bootloader f image itself. So if you're with AT&T, you're going to want to download the AT&T pudding. If you're with, um, if you're an international phone, a Bell user or whoever else, you're going to want to download, it's called iHop. <laughs> so uh, it's called iHop and you're going to want to download that. Of course, I will have a link posted in the description. Um, we're also going to want to download the fast food package, which I will also include in the description. Um, so, with all that said, we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, yeah, I'll just uh, cut this video really quickly because I don't want it to uh, run over my YouTube time so that I have trouble uploading this. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll get started in just a second here. Okie dokie. So. Uh, first things first, what we're going to want to do, oh, and please excuse, this is actually my wife's um, Atrix, so she insisted on putting the uh, screen protector on herself, as you can tell. Um, anyways, first things first, we're going to want to um, pull off the back, and you're going to want to pull out your SIM card. How the hell do I do that? I can't even remember. It's been a while. Well, you're going to want to pull out your SD card and your SIM card to avoid anything screwing up, okay? Um, I think we pull out the battery in order to get the SIM card, yes, that's correct, okay? Put the battery back in, and you can choose to put the uh, cover back on if you feel like you might end up popping out the battery during the process, which would be absolutely horrible, you'd probably really screw yourself there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put those over there. Uh, now what we're going to do uh, is boot into RSD mode, which means what you're going to do is hold down the power button and then the volume up rocker. Okay, so power button, then volume up and hold. And you'll see what happens in a moment here. So, power up and hold. Still holding. Still holding. Starting RSD protocol support. You can go ahead and let go now. All right. Then what we're going to do? Go on up to the computer. And oh, jeez, it's weird looking through the viewfinder here. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can all see. All right. So <clears throat> what I've actually done is um, I went into my computer, uh, into the C drive, and created a folder right on the C drive, and I just named it Atrix. This is for simplicity purposes only. Okay, I just named it Atrix. You can name it whatever you want, but um, for for simplicity and and you know quickness, we're just gonna I named it Atrix. Um, I downloaded, like I said, you want to download the fast boot package and your um, your IHOP. In my case, it's IHOP uh, underscore Bell. That's the actual pudding um, unlock file. Uh, if you have AT and T, it should say something like you know one eight three pudding or something like that. You you guys will see in the description link. Um, <clears throat> so now that's installed, and of course I've got all my Windows drivers installed, and I have the new version of RSD Lite. You must have the new version of RSD Lite, otherwise you will screw your phone and, and the process won't work. In fact, the whole point behind unlocking your phone and getting a new boop boop a new um, recovery uh, um, uh, recovery image or you know getting into clockwork mod or whatever um, is we're going to be moving away from flashing SBFs okay this is actually a dangerous program this RSD Lite um, it's actually meant for Motorola um, software developers we're not even supposed to be using this and I would consider myself between a user slash advanced user kind of in between there and um, it still scares the hell out of me so um, you know once we're done all this process you're never going to use RSD Lite again except to flash a radio if absolutely necessary and I even think that people are certain to modify their radios in order to um, um, have zip files so that you can flash them through the recovery, which is a much safer way to go. Um, also, I wanted to mention to make sure backup, uh, you know, backup any data you want. Um, if you have a rooted phone, um, you know, backup all your user apps. Do not backup system data. If you backup system data and try to restore that, you're gonna fuck your phone when you finally upgrade to 2.3.4. You'll get all kinds of force closes and you're gonna freak out and not know what the hell to do. So backup all your data because this process is going to wipe your phone clean, which is another reason why we took out our SIM card and our SD card, okay? So keep that in mind. It's gonna wipe your data clean completely. There will be nothing left on your phone once we were done this, this guide. It's, I believe this is probably gonna be about a three-part guide. 
side. Anyways, um, okay, so we've got that up. I'm going to go ahead and um, open up RSD Lite, the new version. I'm hoping this is going to work and this isn't going to brick my wife's phone, otherwise she's going to be pissed off at me. Um, so anyways, um, now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, click this button here and that's going to open up the file browser. I am now going to navigate to the folder, my Atrix folder as you can see, where I have the SBF. This is um, after I extracted the IHOP bell, keeping in mind you're going to want to extract the files. This fast boot in your Atrix folder, uh, you know, right click and um, go down to extract here. You're going to want to extract those files right in your Atrix folder as well as the um, IHOP or your AT&T pudding or whatever it may be. Um, this is what um, RSD Lite has found, the .SBF. This is the unlocker. You're going to highlight that. Click open. It's going to load it up. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is plug your phone into the computer, the, R, uh, the USB. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you'll see it's doing stuff. right? So we're going to want to wait until that's finished. It should only take a moment here. Open that up and see the progress of it. There we go. Installing, ready to use, good stuff. All right. Keeping in mind, my hands are clammy just like yours right now. Anytime anybody ever flushes anything, their hands always get a little bit freaky. Um, so anyways, so that's all, that's all set up. You should see your phone uh, right here. SE Flash Olympus, or sometimes it'll say NS Flash Olympus or whatever, depending on the model you have. Um, whether it's international or the AT&T version. Um, so now that's all mounted and ready to go. This is the moment of truth. This is the scary part that uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, flash it now. So, we'll wait. This should happen pretty fast. Please work. Please work. Oh my god, don't screw her phone up or she will kill me. And waiting. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video out and um, bring it back when uh, everything... Oh, as you can see, there's going to be things like this happening. All right? So don't freak out. You know, this is usually good. So I'll, I'll go ahead and cut the video now. And um, see, so look at that. Motorola Flash interface. Device driver installed successfully. My phone's actually uh, rebooting right now, as you can see. And um, I'll go ahead and come back when the phone's all booted back up again. Alright guys, so this is kind of halfway here. Um, again, another reason why I don't like RSD Lite is because it's, uh, it, it, like it's, it's finicky because all of our computers aren't exactly built for development. So you're going to get some funky things like this, which has actually been happening on my, my computer with this new RSD Lite version. Um, you can see it's, uh, the process has gone through, phone is being rebooted, executed 6%, which means it's, you know, it's still in process of being rebooted, but as you can see, my phone's completely rebooted. Um, again, that's not my wallpaper, that's my wife's. I swear to God. Um, so, the phone's rebooted. Um, I've come across this every time I've used RSD Lite, the new one. Um, so, for fear of me totally effing my phone, I actually just let it run through its process. Um, I'm going to wait until it says 99% or if not, you know, finished. Um, and once it's at like 99% or it'll actually say please manually reboot your phone like right here. Um, at that point I actually literally turn my phone off and um, I'll turn my phone off and just reboot it. And uh, once it's fully rebooted, if it still says on RSD Lite, you know, you know, in process or this or that or the other, um, I just go ahead and unplug my phone and then close down RSD Lite. So, um, again, I'll, I'll come back to you guys once this process is finished and, and I've already rebooted my phone because I'm going to tell you right now I'm going to have to reboot my phone manually just like it says. Whether it does something or not, I don't know, but just for safety, um, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll be back in a minute. 